Oh wow! Okay, so it gives it a lot of room to expand and contract. Oh, I see Almost now. Like hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabuhai Squad? Guys, good morning. Welcome to another vlog. We are here at the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse construction once again, just uh, to oversee things and get things done. You know what I'm saying? But honestly. All I personally do is just walk around and vlog and update you guys. Um, the real work is with the team and like RJ coordinating with all the teams, the foremen, etc. By the way guys, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Guys, as you saw in our last vlog, tiles, we have tiles. A little dusty, but um, they will be clean. Oh, so here's the guest bathroom. Hello, good morning. See you there. This guy, isn't that beautiful? It's like a combination of three different tiles. We have alligator skin, wood looking tile, and um, this kind of like rough looking ivory tile, three. I can't wait. This is the guest bathroom on the second floor. Yes! Loving the progress. This here is the corner guest room. Nice and spacious, see? Now, um, one thing I learned is they're not done. So when this is all set, see these little spaces in between the tiles? They're gonna fill that with grout. That should be good. I can't wait. Here's the aviary, guys. See? Loving the aviary. It's currently like is it 10 or 11 so soon that square of light will be right over the entire aviary i can't wait to fill it with birds so guys here was what i was thinking about the aviary just this morning so um i've been watching birds fly from outside and like into our ceiling and into the aviary and out to the top one thing we could do is instead of having pet birds like parrots and putting a like a mesh roof at the top is we could just un another thing we could do is leave it open and have this be like a landscaped courtyard type thing you know just the branches and stuff and then we could like put bird seed down or bird feed and then like wild birds could just fly in from the top and we could just see some mornings different kinds of birds. I don't know. I'm not sure if they would actually come down to the top. But, and then that way we don't have to worry about like maintenance. <laughs> they would be our pet wild birds. What do you guys think of that? Good morning, Don. Here's Hi, Don. Mikey. Yes, Hi, the guys. project manager. And guys, he's explaining to me something about epoxy. Yeah, last time we had um, some of the leftover work. Yep. Where um, the concrete cover came off and we had to... Uh, well, Touch it up. It was exposed, uh, the, the form bars were exposed. So what we, we got a structural engineer to come in and he basically asked us to use uh, concrete epoxy oh, to con cover up the, um, the, 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 the form bars to protect it. I see. So this will now cover up like those, those holes of the stuff that fell off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Epoxy. It almost looks tasty. I know, it looks like some kind of like, mmm, slushy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Don says it looks like black ice cream, like black sesame ice cream. Oh. Guys, let's see, let's see. Oh, that. Oh, wow. All of this exposed rock here will be patched up. I'm calling it rock. All this exposed concrete, sorry. Guys, this is engineer Isaac. He's um, actually on site, so he, he is currently living here at the Mobile High Squad farmhouse. Before any of us live here, he lives um, in the, one of the rooms in the staff house. Um, and he is so detail-oriented. I love Engineer Isaac. He's the best. Bye. Guys, here's Kathy, interior designer. We're looking at doors. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, Kathy. I really love it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Ito oh, yung guys, door samples. <gasps> ito yung existing this one. Ito yung pa-curb. Ito yun. We have to choose now. And then, like here kasi before, it's clean. Pero door? ngayon, they 
Add, you didn't want to just settle for like ordinary uh, like flat doors. And apparently adding these grooves uh, makes the wooden door more durable somehow. I'm not sure how that works, but... I love it. Okay, Dawn is explaining the science. Go ahead. Alright, the groove lines are spaced every six inches and the reason why they're, they're, they're necessary for your doors is because we're using solid wood and not like a plywood or something else. Okay. And with solid woods, of course, they expand and contract. Oh. So they need spaces for them to do that. So otherwise, uh. if there aren't any roof lines, the wood itself will, will crack. Oh, wow. Okay, so it gives it a lot of room to expand and contract. Oh, I see Almost now. Like crack. So guys, check this out. So remember how in El Nido, the switches had like a, a pad, like a like an iPad for instead like of like lights, normal light switches. Our home will also have them because our place will be smart. And these are the these are the pads. For the master, right? One, you'll be able to touch the screen and turn on certain lights. Um, we'll be able to. We, we can see the temperature, the weather, all of that. We're trying to decide if we want white cut keypads or black keypads. Wow, but guy, but the black looks wow. OMG, wow, guys, the door of the master bedroom. of the group line. Oh, it looks so good. Ito yung group na additional. Wow, 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 so cool. So that's the detail. It's so thick. Wow. Wow, guys, the door company that um, we are um, going with is awesome. They're super skilled. They um, talk to us about, you know, what our preferences were for style, etc. Originally, the door kind of looked different from this. It had all of these like little holes and I'm like, ah, tripophobia. So we had to change it up. Um, but I think it looks pretty nice. So after we decide on the door, they're gonna create the door um, from real wood. Then they're gonna add like, I believe it's like two layers of different chemicals so that it's anti-termite. And then they paint it or they stain it. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how it's gonna work. So guys, some other great news is these windows, like they'll start installing glass next week. Yay! Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see glass here. Like remember I've been saying for a long time, once there's glass on the outside, it will really start to feel like an enclosed house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because right now it's just kind of like a building with open airy spaces. It's, it's, it's like a shelter. Um, but I think once glass is installed, I, it's serious now, it's like a house. So for some reason, my vlogging camera makes things look smaller but i think this is a good perspective as to how high our ceilings are see there's rj and dawn is like five foot ten five foot eleven and those are our ceilings it's quite high we actually wanted it that way because you know in case we get birds so the birds can kind of fly around and not have to worry about banging against the ceiling and also i love high ceilings like <laughs> that's we definitely wanted high ceilings for our our home. Hey guys, there's this cute little kitty here. Hi. Hi there. Hi, yes. You're so cute. Are you taking care of all the mice and rats in the area? Yes. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, it's just a kitten. It's it's not full grown. Hi, baby. Are you going to be our farm cat when we move in? Hmm? Are you our feline gargoyle taking care of mice and vermin? Yes, you're so cute. But look, there's a cat and it's so friendly. Little cute kitten. <laughs> that is one contented kitten. <laughs> so guys, it's currently raining and the thunder is so loud. 
Let's see if I can capture it in the vlog. Guys, the thunder is super loud. I love the sound of rain. It's actually quite good. Okay, that was a baby thunder. But like twice, it sounded like the thunder was literally just right here. It was so loud. Okay, that's um still a baby thunder. Man, I like the sound of thunder, but when it's really loud, like it sounds like it's just here by the tree, it's a little scary. It kind of sounds like a bomb. Water plants, drink, drink, fellow trees. I mean, not fellow trees. Oh wow, there's an egret there. And I love to see how the water flows on the property. Like, see it kind of flows down here and then into the drains. Like, see there's a drain right here. See, it's working, it's working. And then all of this drains out into um, the creek. There's like a seasonal creek on the other side of the wall. I've taken you guys there before in the past. I'm not afraid of rain. I actually like the rain. It's really nice. And then when we have plants and veggies and things that we're growing, like obviously they will grow faster <laughs> when it rains. So rain brings life. So guys, here's something I want to show you. So it's raining, right? And I noticed this little cricket scurrying around. And guys, you know what this is? This here is Acheta domestica. It's like the same species of cricket that they sell for reptile food, like in the pet trade. It's, it's wild here in the Philippines. I, I believe it's like a wild sort of domestic pest in Asia. There it goes. So that's kind of cool. So the aviary drains are working, that's great. Again, we will have a retractable roof for like those days where it's honestly raining like torrentially for days and say like the aviary does start to flood, which hopefully it doesn't, um, we can just cover it with uh, the retractable roof. But honestly, like remembering how much our African Grey Ligaya loved to get sprayed, you know, like she loved getting baths. I do think that these periodic showers in the aviary will be really appreciated by the birds that will be living in here. It's just really natural to them. And um, I have past vlogs about bathing parrots and how important it is to, you know, for their health. This is actually a cool opportunity to see how effective the drainage system is in our home. Like, you know what I mean? Like, water needs to run somewhere. <laughs> so now we can clearly see where the water goes when it does rain. How interesting. All right guys, so we're home now. Let's see the positive affirmation for Tuesday, March the 15th. Here you go, Coco. I joyously let go of all the things that no longer serve me. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation. All right, so guys, thanks so much for tuning in to another vlog. Guys, soon we will be moving into our new place. Mm -hmm. um, and really appreciate you guys watching. Once again, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, um, hit that like button, and uh, join the Mabuhai Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Yes, we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Mm.